Dear friend, it's that time of the year, November comes in the mist, in the pouring rain, in the blazing sunsets and the soft evening light, November. Truly the month of writing, reading, and dreaming, all wrapped in a blanket with a piping hot drink. Can you sense it too? Nainoraimu is here, and so am I. You've summoned me from an agitated sleep, in my dream. I was falling down the rabbit hole of imposter syndrome and self-sabotage. Writers, your energy this season is strong and bright. I don't know where you are in the world, but I can feel your creative spirit and it's so powerful that I'm now awake and ready to join you. Let's do it. Let's write a novel this month. Together. What is Ninoraimo? It's an annual challenge in which writers from all over the world attempt to write a 50,000 word novel between November 1st and November 30th. It's a month filled with words and camaraderie among writers and it's my favorite time of the year to explore ideas recklessly. Okay, so let's go ahead and announce our new project. What is the name of your project? So the name is Project Chimney. What is the project status? And I guess I'm gonna be drafting it, so I'm gonna put in progress. How much privacy do you want? Public is fine. It's a novel. And yes, it's for NaNoWriMo 2022. So here's the goal, 50,000 words, starts on November 1st, ends on November 30th. What is the genre? So the genre is fantasy, but the audience is middle grade. Can I write it down? Middle grade. Project summary. My NaNoWriMo project is a ghostly Christmas tale about friendship, family and the magic of togetherness i still don't have one and i don't have an excerpt either so let's just save the project yay so what else can i say about it reading christmas books at bedtime is one of my favorite childhood memories i would ask my dad to read them for me not just during the holidays but throughout the whole year I just loved my Christmas books. I think that more often than not, the enchantment of Christmas is ruined for children. So I kind of wanted to bring it back for the older kids, not through the belief in Santa Claus, but through the belief in ordinary magic and whimsy. How can I write 50k in one month? NaNoWriMo's approach to writing a novel is fast drafting, which is my current favorite way of getting it done. However, I personally prefer to track the number of scenes I write instead of the number of words, because I'm typically an underwriter and my first drafts, or should I say zero drafts, tend to be less than 50k. So, even though I'm used to writing fast, I'm not used to writing that much, which is why I've decided to figure out exactly how many words I need to put down in a day. So, 1. Figure out how many days in total you can write. Since I'm an underwriter, I don't think I can afford to skip days during November. A 
1667 words is already enough for a challenge. So for me, 30 days it is. 2. Divide the 50k by the amount of days. And voila! How can I write that many words per day? My suggestion is always writing sprints, depending on how much time you have and your attention span. If you can, try to do it at the same time every day to create a habit, but if not, make sure you set aside at least two hours to write each day. My strategy? Pomodoro. For 25 minute writing sprints with 5 minute breaks in between. So I've been a morning writer for the past 3 years, mostly because my day job was usually from 3 pm to 11 pm. But now that I'm on the other side of the world and my job is still the same, I'm usually working from 8 am to 3 to 4 pm. So that's why it is here. I'm gonna have to turn into a kind of night owl or at least an evening bird because I'm thinking I'm going to write from 5 pm to 7 pm each day. That's the best time for me at the moment. I think it's kind of gonna feel like I'm leaving this important task to the end of the day, but. It's also gonna be a good way to transition from my work life to my home life. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna go well. How can I track my writing? One, NaNoWriMo website. If you use the tracker on the NaNoWriMo website, they have a graph that tells you whether you're on track or not, which is pretty neat and I love to use. However, if you're like me and you have a specific journal in which you record the progress of all of your writing projects, you might enjoy two, journaling. This was my method for many years. If you're interested in taking a closer look at my writer's journal, I have a video on it in which I explain in depth why I journal as a writer and what exactly I journal about. But recently I switched to my final recommendation. Notion Tracker. Okay, so here's my NaNoWriMo Notion Tracker. We're gonna start from here. So I have more or less the amount of scenes that I want to write. I don't write by chapters usually. I start with scenes and then in the second draft or something like that I'll write the chapters down. Sometimes while I'm drafting they will come to me and I will write them down. But if not, that's not my main priority, it's scenes instead. So the total word count goal is 50,000 words and I'm planning on writing 2 hours per day, so that would be 60 hours. Let's see if I need more or less than this, but that's the plan. Then I have here the scenes written, so this is a widget which you can get on Indify. Each day, however many scenes I write, I will add it here. Um, then by the end of the month, I will have my final word count and the time it took to write it. So here we have a timer. Uh, this is the deadline of NaNoWriMo, so it ends in... This is wrong, I need to check why this is wrong, because it starts tomorrow, so it should end Here's the name of the project, Project Chimney, the genre is a cozy mystery fantasy, the audience, middle grade readers, the theme, I'm gonna keep this one a secret, and the synopsis as well. Then I have a picture that symbolizes my project, you can substitute it with your own image, and here I have a short reminder of why I'm writing this book. Which are the things that make me really excited about this story. And finally, we have here the writing tracker. And this is really cool because when we click on day one, for example, 
we have two questions to answer here. This is kind of like a writing journal for each session. So what was this writing session all about and how did it go? Then we can say how long it took. For example, if I wrote for two hours, that would be six, no, that would be 120 minutes, right? And the total word count will hopefully be 1667 but probably not hopefully more right and then the status this is about the stage of writing in which I'm in so I'm gonna be writing the zero draft and I'm gonna start on day one here which act am I writing so if you don't know I'm currently following the save the cat beat sheet with a few tweaks here and there but for the first week, for example, I'm probably gonna be working on Act 1. Then, feeling. How did I feel during this writing session? Did I like it? Did I not? Why? You can change this to your own needs, but for me, it's either struggled, loved it, or it was okay. So yeah, that's the Notion Writing Tracker. Really simple, just a way to keep track of my progress on my novel. So, if you prefer to track your writing digitally, my template will be available for free in my coffee page. How can I prepare for NaNoWriMo? It's always recommended to brainstorm and outline your stories in advance, even though it's not obligatory. Nothing is obligatory in NaNoWriMo, there are many rivals joining the challenge, but if you do want to brainstorm and outline, I have detailed videos on my process in case you want to check them out. So, a kind of big problem is that I usually like to start preparing for NaNoWriMo in September but this year I started after mid-October and I still don't have the full outline completed and tomorrow is the first day of NaNoWriMo so <laughs> I'm such a plotter but this year I'm just going to embrace the NaNoWriMo spirit I guess and go with the flow, follow my instincts, see what happens and, of course, hope to survive. Here's a quick look at a few things that will be aiding my survival in November. How can I stay motivated during NaNoWriMo? Of course, writing consistently is not just about motivation and inspiration, but also, and perhaps mostly, about determination. Still, a bit of the first two is always welcome, so here are a few tricks I like to keep the spark alive. 1. Pep talks and interviews. But I discovered along the way I was a collector of metaphors. Now I don't know how I can teach you to uh, recognize that metaphor when you see it, but if you, the, what you've got to do from this night forward is stuff your head with more different things from various fields. I can write anywhere. Curled up in a corner in a spare armchair in somebody's house. I can, um, I write on the Madison Avenue bus. I write any, all, all over the place. Um, always have been able to, in the bathtub. The hardest time for me was starting out. It's a very, very young, I wrote short stories and I sent them out to places that could conceivably publish them and they all came back. Two, milestone rewards. Treating myself every time I hit a milestone. This year I chose a reward for every 10k that I write. All of my rewards are virtually free because it's been a rough year. Three, accountability. And here's where I introduce you to the NaNoWriMo 2022 Write With Me's. This is a video series which I'm committing to making throughout the month of November, in which each day, every time I work on this project, I'm gonna be filming my writing session in real time and posting it for you guys to be able to write together with me. So if this goes well, by the end of the 30 days, we will have the exact amount of writing sprints that we need to finish a novel, which is really cool, right? 
the purpose of this series is for anyone attempting to write a novel in a month to have a buddy doing it by their side. With each session, I'll be sharing my progress, giving you a few words of encouragement, and more. I really hope you're looking forward to it. I certainly am. Happy NaNoWriMo, and I hope to see you there. Bye!